The incompetent way to make money in Crossout. Number one, money for nothing. This is the first in a series of Crossout videos telling you how to make money in Crossout. Now it's mainly aimed at newbies, but you want to watch it all the way through, just in case I mention something that has slipped your attention and that the other video makers haven't bothered to tell you because they want to keep it to yourselves because they want to make the money, not you to make the money. But me, me, I'm generous, especially to my viewers. I'm going to tell you all the ways I make money in this series. We'll start with number one, money for nothing. When you start, you when you've got a car, a beat up old truck with some crummy machine guns in it, and you want to improve it, but that costs money. And you start with a big zero here. Ignore that 118, it's zero for the purposes of this video. I've got no money. And the problem with most of the ways of making money in Crossout is that you require investment capital to start. It takes money to make money and you've got no money. Oh, what shall we do? All we have is this crummy car and a can-do attitude and a desire to fight and kill and blood and gore and veins and teeth. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, we go into battle. Looking for a shotgun. Oh, look, we can get rewards for the battle. Now, if you win the battle, you'll get a white piece of equipment, either a shotgun or one of these or one of these or a completely random white piece of equipment. You'll also get, if you stay all the way to the end of the battle, if you die early and quit out, you get no rewards this 15 pieces of scrap it says here well that's 15 pieces of scrap if you get I think a thousand points or some somewhere in that region if you do well and you win you'll get more than 15 pieces of scrap if you do badly and you lose you'll get less than 15 pieces of scrap but if you stay in the battle all the way to the end you'll always get some scrap metal so no matter how badly you do in the battles you can get scrap this way until you've hit your weekly limit. The weekly limit is 2,800 units. Suddenly, you'll just say, you'll get the reward screen and there'll be a white piece if you won, but no scrap. And that really that threw me the first time it happened. So this, this method is only good for the first 2,800 units of scrap until the week clocks round and you get another element of 2,800 scrap. Anyway, so you go into the battle, you got the rewards, and you repeat that. Go into battle, get the reward, go into battle, collect the rewards, until you've got a hundred pieces of scrap. Then it's time to make the money. <laughs> go to storage, go to scrap metal, right click. Ooh, I could sell it. Ah, no, 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 not so fast. Never use the buy and sell, unless you're in a hurry and you're willing to pay more than you need to, or sell for less than you can get. Always go for trade, you get more money through trade. Of course, it takes a little more time, uh, but, but with things like scrap, they're bought and sold so rapidly, so often, that you hardly have to wait any time at all when you're, when you're going through the trade. In really expensive items, you, you can wait days before your, your offer gets sold. But anyway, we're talking about scrap, and scrap goes fast, so we're going to buy and sell. So we're going to sell, and they are all the offers to sell already in the clearing house. What are we calling it? Marketplace. And it automatically goes, oh, 505.09. So I'll sell for that. No, 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 no. If I did that, oh, there would be one other person in the queue ahead of me. I don't want to sell faster than that. I mean, there might be like 53 people. And if I go and sell, my my offer to sell will go after all of them. But I don't want that. I want to sell in me as fast as possible, please. So 509, go down a cent. That way, mine is the offer right there. So sell, oh, and the other thing, I'm not going to get 5.08 coins. I'm going to get 4.57. Because whatever you sell, there's a 10% sales tax. That's the sink of coin in the system. 10% tax. 
in one way that that represents Gaijin's profit. But anyway, 10% is what you're paying to sell. Let's sell it. Successful. There we go. I am. That's my. Oh, it's sold already. I told you scrap went fast. Let me refresh that. See, my offer's gone. I've got the money. So, 100 scrap, and I got four and a half coins for it. Woohoo! And with remember, with that four and a half coins, you don't have to mess around going. Oh, I, I want some shotguns. I want. I want. I'm gonna play battle after battle after battle after battle, waiting for a random chance to come up with a shotgun no, you don't have to wait for that not with four and a half coins in your pocket you can go straight to the market let's go for the weapons select the wear white rarity look at that lupar a shotgun they cost i could buy it immediately for 26 or i could wait a while for um i'll just buy it for 0.26 i've got lots of money i can just go bang thank you very much and now with this for just a hundred scrap, I can buy as many white pieces of equipment as I want. Maybe a different cabin with a bit more power, so you can put sorry a bit more energy, so you can put in more guns. See this camper van thing? It's got eight points instead of no, it's not a thug. No, what one did you start with? I've forgotten. It's a gorilla yeah the gorilla horror horrible horrible you want to get rid of that as soon as possible and get get yourself a huntsman maybe not a thug it'll be a while before you can afford a thug but a huntsman can only have uh, has eight points seven point yeah get a huntsman eight points of energy that's that's another weapon Woo yes so or well well after you after you bumped up your your ride as to the best that white can offer and you take that into battle that'll mm, allow you to do you've got a better vehicle so you do better in the battles so you win more often and you get a higher score and which means you get more scrap and you keep on doing this over and over again until well say you want a blue vehicle piece of equipment like i would suggest the first one you want the blue you want to buy is the growl 11 energy even more structure and it's nice and fast much nicer than a huntsman but anyway that's what you want to spend your money on while you're doing that going into battle earning scrap there's a way you could be earning more money ah yes there is what's this way it's called fuel not this fuel this is your daily allowance fuel to I'm, I'm currently on getting 200 a day for free given to me and all I can do that with that is going to raids. Can't sell or buy buy or sell that. But if you go build, let's just move that. I'll just move it out for a second and get one of these or one of these. A fuel barrel will net you five fuel. A fuel tank will net you ten. You could put both in. Will net you fifteen. But remember, they go, that's quite big. Oh, and it's blue, so you won't be able to afford it straight away. So let's ignore that. Just the fuel barrel, white piece, nice and cheap. Slot that in, ka -chunk. And then hide it a bit with the car jack. Because fuel barrels go boom. Explodes and deals 450 damage in 10 meters radius. So you don't want that thing shot. You could stick it right out here, right out here. Or add a bit of structure to have it hanging out the back but it's going to get shot off and it'll get in the way better to hide it away behind structure I've hidden it there so if it's shot out from the front well the cabin's gone already so you're dead it doesn't matter that the fuel tank's gone boom and if shot out from the rear the van side goes away for 18 points but then there's the car jack which is a nice big thick 112 points to protect it you might want to put a bit more structure on the side to protect it from being chopped by the side. But anyway, yes, once we got the fuel tank in, we go into battle, shotgun say, as well as a white reward if you win, some scrap metal if you win or lose. If you win and you survive to the end of the battle 
and you have a fuel tank fitted, or fuel barrel in this case, sorry, fitted, you'll get five fuel per battle that you win and survive. Yep. And after, well, after 20 surviving wins, you've got 100 fuel and you can go woo, into storage, into resources, fuel, trade. There we go. I can get 3.29 coins. Well, a little less. I can get 2.96 coins for 100 fuel. That's quite... That's down. That's there well. Yes. Remember that these are these these are market prices, and the market is solely determined by players. So these thing these values go up as well as down, and that's something you have to bear in mind for all methods of making money. That if you're selling fuel at the moment, you're selling it cheap. You might want to wait a while and then see if the price goes up. I'd expect it to be more around the six coin area per hundred. But anyway, it's another. It's a bit more cash. That's it for this video. Money for nothing. If you want to see more videos on how to make money in Crossout, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.